Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you today? Fine? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Perfect. Jorge. Hello, good evening. Hello, Jadixa. How are you? I, I am fine. Great. Hello, Lucia. Hello, Sabrina. Hello, Walter. Hello, Mabel. Good evening. Hello, Good evening, Luis. Teacher. Good evening. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Carla. Hello, Mr. Jaime. How are you guys? Fine? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, guys. Let me see. Uh, let's wait just two more minutes and we will start the class, okay? Thank you very much for your time. Just one second. And thank you very much for joining on time, guys. Let me see. Sorry guys, I'm just answering some messages that I have here. Algunos mensajitos les estoy contestando because I had classes before, so I couldn't see that. Okay. Sorry guys, just one second. Okay, Jonathan, hello. Jonathan, hello, Eliana, welcome. Okay guys, we will start with the class. Just allow me one second. Just one moment, guys. Let me go ahead and turn off the phone because I, I really uh, don't want to have it right now. <laughs> it's not hard anymore. One second, guys. Hello, hello, Kenny, welcome. Okay, guys, I already turned it off. Let's see who else is, is joining right now. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, Elena Carolina. Who else? Nobody else. Okay, guys, vamos a pasar la lista entonces. Let me go through the attendance list. Just allow me one second, please. Amilcar, hello, 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 Ileana. Hello, Nelson. How are hello, you? Hello, teacher. Thank you, teacher. How are you today, Hi. Nelson? Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Hello, Lizeth. Okay, guys, I will go through the attendance list right now. One moment. Guys, I, I want to ask you a question before to continue. How do you call this? How do you call this? Perna. Hello, Sabrina. Pepeto. Pepeto. Pepeto paterno. Oh, Pepeto Paterno. All right. Just those two names. But those are small, no. right? Those are small. There are some that are bigger, right? Yes, Pepeto. Entonces. Oh, the other ones are La Paternas, no? Paterna is la bigger. grande. Ah, the bigger. Okay. Yes. Okay. I didn't know about it. How? It's a lot of pudding, it's a It's a Paterna, but it's grande. Okay. Mm -hmm. So cojines is the same as paterna. No. <laughs> and those are las de eso no se come la, la semilla. Ah. Ah, paterna, I didn't... ah, guys, thank you. I didn't know. How do you say antojo? Uh, no, it's, it's no. not that. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone give it to me. Someone oh. give it to me. Someone give it to me. But I didn't have this one. I mean, I, I didn't have the famous, how do you call, um, I don't know if it is like, a, it's like a win. Let me see the, the pronunciation. Cause I don't, uh, it's like a win. Win? Cause ca, cap, no, it's not cup rice. No, it's like a win. Um, oh no, give me a sí. second. <laughs> no, like, ah, no, no, give me a second. I believe it's win, a sudden desire, change of mind, especially. See, it's win. That's weird, right? Win, whim, whim. That's a whim. Um, that's a whim. Oh, no, but that, that was not a win. I didn't want that. Someone give it to me today. <laughs> But I don't have a strange whims. The only whims that I, that I remember is um I, I don't know how do you say that, but it's the the is it, is uh the object? No, it's not the object. It's part of the honey. It's part of the honey. Oh, I know what it is. It's like a honeycomb. That that was it. Uh huh. Ya le digo eso. Ajá, honey, honeycomb. Do you know what is a honeycomb? Honeycomb. 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 Okay. Es el panal de abeja. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only whim, okay, that I had. <laughs> Extrange whim, el panal de abeja. Okay, honeycomb. That was the only one. Other than that, no, guys. No, I mean... Yes, but not so strange. <laughs> He escuchado algunos que son bien, bien raros, los. Pero no, the only one is the, the honeycomb, okay? <laughs> that was the only one. So, thank you guys. Thank you for your information because I didn't know about the names of those fruit, okay? I didn't know. Solamente es paterna. I know, I know about paterna. But about the other ones, no. So good to know, good to know. Let's see, let me go now with the attendance list, guys. Uh, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Angela Estefania is not here. So by the way, today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, March the 23rd. Wow, Wednesday, March the 23rd. Okay, Cristian Jose Lopez Perez. Cristian is not here. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Thank you. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Uh, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. 
smile is not here. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortez. And Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Um, Jorge Antonio Feliciano River. Present teacher. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Ok. Let me see just one second. Jonathan, Jonathan, hello. Jonathan, today you stay with me in the 101 session, okay? Jonathan. Okay, so uh, I got a problem now because I am driving. Later Maybe, on, uh, at 10. After, after 10, I'm staying at my home. At 10, at 10, yes, at 10. Yeah. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Eras. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Walter Alexander Lemos Medina. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Um, Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Just one moment. Let me share the screen, guys, because we will start with the class today. So, guys, um, today we have a new topic, okay, as all the classes. We will have a review about can and could as well, but today uh, we will go and start reviewing this topic, which is how to use may and might. Those are modal verbs, okay? Esos son los, los dichosos verbos mod modales que les estaba mencionando, okay? So el día de ahora vamos a aprender el may y el might. Vamos a leer eso. This is the class number eight, guys. Wow. We almost in the middle of the course. Ya acabamos de empezar. So, guys, uh, just as a, as a reminder, well, just as a review. Vamos a hacer un review ahorita. Just as a review about can and could. We say, guys, in simple words, okay? In simple words, lo voy a decir para no hacerlo tan largo. Can, nosotros lo utilizamos cuando es más informal, cuando queremos hablar más informal, cuando queremos pedir permiso de forma más informal, o cuando eh, ofrecemos nuestra ayuda o hacemos un request, una petición de forma informal, ¿ok? Mientras el could, para, hacer, para pedir permiso, para eh, pedir algo o para ofrecer algo, es más formal, ¿ok? Eh, on the other hand, ok, el can también lo utilizamos cuando estamos refiriéndonos al presente, ¿sí? Eh, en cuanto estamos hablando a habilidad, cuando usted puede hacer algo, por ejemplo, I can draw, I can jump high, I can swim, I can write poems, I can sing, etc., ¿Ok? Mientras que el could es en pasado. Siempre expresamos habilidad, pero en pasado. Usted dice, yo podía, yo podía saltar alto. Ahora ya soy viejita. Yo podía um, cantar, yo podía bailar, etc. Right? I could play the piano, I could dance, I could jump high, etc. Es en pasado. 
y eh, let me see uh, that's pretty much it a veces lo utilizamos como en pasado el could de hecho eh, la forma como básica del can y el could la, el can es poder hacer algo ¿verdad? la habilidad y ese es en pasado el could si ustedes se van a buscar la lista de verbos, ustedes van a encontrar el can en presente y el could en pasado. ¿Ok? Porque ese es el verbo, el pasado del can. ¿Ok? Pero recuerden que también tenemos más usos, como le dije, habilidad, permiso, posibilidad. ¿Ok? Así que pues eso les quería decir para hacerlo en simple words, en palabras simples. De eso se trata el can y el could y esa es como la diferencia. El could es más polite. Es más formal que el can cuando lo utilicemos en algunos usos y el cure es en pasado y el can es el pre, en, en presente. ¿Ok? Ustedes lo van a ver en el contexto. Así que pues, give me a second, guys. And before you go there, antes que se vayan para acá, les iba a enseñar algo. Oh, no, no, lo vamos a ver después. Después lo voy a enseñar. Ya cuando hayamos visto el my, el, ma, el might y el may, les voy a enseñar una imagen donde yo les hablo que hay niveles de formalidad, ¿verdad? Así que después se lo voy a enseñar. So now, guys, let's go and open the page 22, please. Abrimos la página 22 on the book, page 22. Give me a second. Page 22. Let's continue practicing this. The can and the could, guys. We have more examples about can and could acá. Tenemos más ejemplos, guys. And with can, I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. Okay. Cuando usted no puede hacer algo, you use can't. Okay. Que es el negative de can. Can't. I can't do that, teacher. I can't be on classes tomorrow. Teacher, I can't... Uh, turn on the, the, the camera right now because it's not working. Teacher, I can I can make the homework because I'm sick. Okay, etc. Y en preguntas también ustedes lo pueden hacer como, can I have your credit card number? Okay, es un request. Es una petición que está haciendo. Can I have your credit card number? Y es menos formal que decir could I have your credit card number? Okay. El, can you tell me how many items you need? Can you tell me how many items you need? Ok, tenemos otra pregunta con el can. Y con el could, guys, tenemos some examples. Y acá están. Uh, you could try with another credit card. Ok, you could try. The possibility, possibility. They couldn't give you your billing address. Ok, they couldn't give you. Este de habilidad que no se, pudie, no se pudo. Pero es en el pasado. Past. They couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? That is a request. Okay, it's a request. Could we check the details of my order? It's a request también. Y es formal, más polite que el can. Yo puedo también decir, can you spell your last name? Pero es menos polite, es menos formal si lo digo con el can. Okay? So here you have the examples. Guys, let's go ahead and make some questions, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer algunas preguntas utilizando el can y el could. Lo vamos a hacer en pairs, ¿ok? For example, podemos tomar de ejemplo los que tenemos acá. Can you spell your mother's name, please? Yes, I can, ¿ok? Could you... Um, could you... Tell me what was the issue? Or could you tell me what the issue is? Oh, yes, I could. Okay. Can you, can you, let's see, go to my home? Can you go to my home? Uh, no, I can't. Could you, could you bring me a cup of tea? Could you bring me a cup of tea, please? Oh. Yes, I could. Ok. So, así vamos a hacer las questions y la vamos a hacer en pairs. La vamos a hacer en pareja ahora. Guys, I will make the breaker rooms, pero before le voy a mandar este screenshot. 
para que los tengan en el WhatsApp. Um, do you have questions about this, guys? Questions about this exercise? No? No questions? Guys? No questions? No? Ok, let's have 10 minutes to do this exercise. Vamos a tener 10 minutes para hacer este ejercicio. Just let me get a second. I just want to make sure how many are we. Let me see. Creo que lo voy a ordenar ahorita, guys, manualmente. Porque hay unos que están de listeners today. Give me a second. Ok, let me see. Solamente déjeme saber quién es. Ok, let me see. Jonathan. So, tenemos, guys, Sabrina, Linda, Jonathan y Marta de listeners ahorita. ¿Alguien más que no pueda participar porque puede que esté uh, maybe working, driving, etcétera, no? Ok. One second. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Thank you, Luis. Ah, ok, ok, Carla. Pensé que no estaba conectada. Ok. Ok, para los demás, guys, denle clic en Join. Los estoy asignando ahorita. Please. Click on join, please, guys. No sale. No sale. Oh, ahorita los estoy asignando, sorry. Marta, give me a second, because those. Marcos, ¿ya le salió? Ya lo asigné, Marcos. Let's see, me falta Amilcar, I believe. Yes, Amilcar is missing. En julio. Okay, so Jonathan, Jonathan, Carla, hello, Linda, hello. Uh, you're you're driving, right, Jonathan? You say you're driving. Martin Sabrina. Yes, I'm driving, but I think that you are asking something. No, no, no. It's okay, guys. Los que están acá están de listener ahorita. I understand. Don't worry. Okay. Por eso no los okay. hacen now. So don't worry. Right. ¿Le parece bien? ¿Cómo me di? Can you write a report? Sí, está bien.
हेलो हेलो इलियाना इज इलियाना हियर यस टीचर सी इज हियर बट आ क्वेश्चंस डू यू हैव क्वेश्चंस नो गाइस um uh, we have a question to share as the the question we have we uh, we make a uh, partner or oh you can do it together you can make the questions together just four questions four yeah we, okay mm -hmm. i i i think we have four yana for me <laughs> Ah uh, no, you can make the questions together. Don't worry, the questions and the answers. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be back, guys. Bring me. Could you bring me? Yes. Uh, yes, I could. Will. Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. Y la otra, can you, no sé, dime tú ahí. Can you, can you play uh, in the night? Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí. Play. Yes, I, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Could you boil the water for the coffee? For the coffee? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Voy a servir el, el agua para el café. Mm -hmm. No sé, o no sé si hay otra. No, 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 está bien. Mm -hmm. Y sería, yes, yes, I could, but... Yes, I could. Uh -huh. I could. Okay. Okay. Entonces, la primera nos quedó, can you go to a school tomorrow? Tomorrow, huh? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. La segunda, eh, could you bring, bring me, bring me, uh -huh. pizza in the afternoon. Uh -huh. yes, yes, I, I could. could. Uh -huh. La tercera es, you, can you play in the night? Can you yes, play football? football. Number three. Uh, can you drive? I can. I'm sorry. Yes, I can. I am. O son con respuestas completas. Teacher, tenemos que hacer este respuestas largas o cortas. No, oh, short answers, guys. Como son okay. yes no questions, son short answers. Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, y otra pregunta. Y tenemos que hacer diferentes preguntas. Perdón. Yes, that's right. 
Ah, pues tenemos que hacer otras preguntas también. O sea, va a ir. Esta me la pregunta usted y voy a hacer. Habría que hacer otra. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, no. Solamente las que están ahí serían four in total. Ah, en total. Sí. No la pueden hacer. Okay. Uh -huh. Solamente four. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I'll be back, guys. So, you help with this address? Me podría ayudar con esta dirección? Okay. Salir de la reunión o salir de la salir de la sala para grupos reducidos. Guys, do you need any help? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, Did you finish? Ah, ok. We will go back just in one minute, ok? Solamente voy a terminar de visitar a someone else and we will, we will finish, ok? Ok, Let me see. Ya los mando a la, a la main room. Thank you, guys. Ok, teacher. Thank you. How much? How, How much? much? Uh, How much? much? How much money? How much money do you need? Yes. Guys, uh, we will make questions solo utilizando el can y el could. Yes. Solo con el, con el es, can es, para, es para una yes, respuesta. Yes. Ah, para ah, sorry, teacher. sorry. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. Okay. Uh, Do you need, quedamos. Yes. How, how much more money do you need? Vale, esa es la respuesta. Uh -huh. Ay, ahora vamos con la, con la otra, a ver, es que en la última. Eh, podría ser, can you go with me to the cinema? Can you? Can you go with me? Can, can you, you pull? Go. Can you go? Go. Go. Uh, Parafraseme en, en Spanish. Go. De ir. G-O. G-O. So. Can you go? go? Can you go? Así como ir, go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Okay. Uh -huh, sí. Can you go? Can you go? To the sea. To. To. Hello, hello guys. Thank you for joining. Okay, thank you for joining back. Okay guys, so let's see, let me share the screen and I will ask you to help me out with the questions. Let's see number one, uh, Carla, uh, sorry, um, Amilcar, could you please help me with the number one? 
Okay, teacher. Uh, can can you uh, go to a school tomorrow? Can you go to a school? Can you go to a school tomorrow, right? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, and the answer? Uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. Okay, what about the number two? Let's see. Jorge, uh, Jorge yes. Sorry. Um, can you go to a uh, play basketball today? Could you? Oh, could you? Uh -huh. could, you could you give me a salary report? A sales report. Ah, okay. Sales report. Very good. Report. And the answer? Yes. Uh, sorry. No, I can't. No, I couldn't. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Good job. Sorry. Yes, I couldn't. All right, very good, Jorge. Lucia, could you please give me the number three? Can you? Perdón, perdón, tenía para el micrófono. Eh, sería, can you send me a potato? Can you send me? Send me a potato. A potato, okay. What will be the answer? Yes, I can. Yes, I can, very good. Okay, let's see. Marcos, could you please give me the number four? Okay, teacher. Uh, could you say me where is the bank? Where where the bank is? Okay. Where the bank is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me? Acá, guys, lo hacemos así. Where the bank is, porque ya hicimos la pregunta, ya la estructura del WH ya se cumplió. O la estructura de la pregunta, could you tell me where the bank is? Y acá lo hacemos como una oración normal. Where the bank is, ok? Very good, Marcos. What is, what is going to be the answer? The bank is over there. Oh, yes, right? Yes, I could. Yes, the I bank could. is over there. Very good. Good job. Yeah. Okay, great job, guys. All right. So let's see. Questions about these guys? Questions? No questions? Okay, let me go back to the presentation, okay? One second. Just allow me one moment. Oh, sorry. Let me stop sharing and let me share it back again. Teacher. Yes, Nelson. Eh, estaba, estaba viendo las oraciones eh, que todo comienza con, con cool y can. Pero, pero yo, puedo, yo puedo hacer la oración eh, anteponiendo el, el verbo to be. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, puedo hacer I, I can. Ah, I yes. Do, I do. Yes. I mean, anteponiendo okay. el sujeto, right? Uh, uh -huh. Sí, solamente que ese sería otro tipo de oración que sería una afirmativa. Estas serían a, a, um, inter, interrogativa, ¿sí? Ah, ok. Estamos Uy. trabajando en, eh, con interrogativa, básicamente. Entonces... Sí, ahorita sí, pero igual es, es ok. You can also say I can, I could, o puede decir I can't, o I uh -huh. couldn't, en negativo. I could, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, Nelson. Ok, guys, so let's see. We already made this. Now... Uh, guys, I have some questions for you, okay? I have some questions, and the questions are those. Um, I would like to ask you guys, how was the last purchase that you did? 
how was the last purchase that you did, guys? Do you remember last purchase is whenever you buy something, when you buy something, okay? How was the last purchase that you made, that you did, sorry? Do you remember? What did, what did, you, uh, what did you buy? Do you remember? How was it? Was it stressful? Was it good? Entertain? Was it um, a bad experience? So how was it? ¿Cómo fue la última compra que usted hizo? Mm -hmm. um, Marcos? I was very expensive. It was very expensive, very good. Really, how much did you spend? How much did you spend? ¿Cuánto gastó? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I I spent <laughs> I spent uh, for fourteen fifty five dollars. Okay, okay, very good, thank you. Very good, Marcos. So let's see, were you were you satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase, Marcos? Uh, and finally, teacher, yes, I... I you were satisfied? Yes. Okay, I was satisfied, very good, very good, Marcos. Okay, and... Was the customer, uh, I believe that was, there is, hay, hay una pregunta que falta acá, and I will make it, okay? What was the last purchase that your company did? What was the last purchase that your company did? ¿Se acuerdan de la última venta que su compañía o el último servicio que ofreció su institución o la compañía donde trabajan, guys? No? Uh -huh. Let's see, let me ask someone else. All right, let's practice. Mm -hmm. Mabel, uh, do you remember how was the last portions that your company did? Mm, I don't know because I'm in... Um... In another department I'm a or another area. I'm a secretary. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't have a, a, a way to know this. But if I want to oh, okay. answer some uh, or respond some, um, I can tell what's a computer. Oh, it was a computer. Okay. Oh, the one that you did. You purchased a computer. I I no, it's an example, but I don't. Oh, it's I an can't. example. Thank you, thank <laughs> you, my baby. Okay, it's so let's suppose that it was a computer. Thank you a lot. Thank yes. you. I appreciate it because you are trying to participate and to answer my questions. So, Mabel, let's suppose that it was a computer. Was the customer satisfied or dissatisfied? Sacrifice because it's better than than uh, and I the other have. companies. <laughs> 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 okay, because we are supposing <laughs> today, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so, teacher, yes, he was satisfied because we are the best of selling comp computers. <laughs> Very good, Mabel. Thank you a lot. Okay. Okay, guys, so very good. Um, let's see. Now we have an activity practice before going to something else. Let's go to the page 23, okay? Page 23. Let's see, here we have the page 23. This one, okay? This one. Let's read a survey about customer experience with a with a product. Okay, this is a survey encuesta in in Spanish. Okay, survey encuesta about customer experience with a product. Esta es una encuesta que en un cliente una encuesta de satisfacción que en un cliente. Let's read it. Okay, 
Let's have five minutes to read it. It's five minutes to read it, okay? Leana, guys, five minutes. How satisfied. <laughs> Sorry, Marcos. No, no, nada, teacher. Es que creí que. Ah, ok, ok. <laughs> Okay, guys, time is over. Let's see. Sorry. One second. Oh, my God. One moment. Mm. Okay, Ileana. Sorry, Ileana. Could you please help me to read the number one? Que, le, que lean la primera pregunta. Ajá, please. Number one. How satisfied are you with this production? How satisfied are you with this product? Very good. Very satisfied. Satisfied. Dissatisfied. And very dissatisfied. So the customer is dissatisfied, guys. Wow. Jaime Antonio, could you please help me with the number two? Sorry. Write your opinion about the, the product's quality. High quality, average, low quality, very low quality. Very low quality, wow. 
Walter Alexander, could you please help me with the number three? Okay. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, very poor. Wow, it's poor, right? Okay. Uh, Julio Cesar, could you please help me with the number four? Will you continue using this product? Yes, no? No, right, wow, okay. So let's see. Um, um, Angela Estefania, how was the customer's experience? Angela Estefania? Okay, let's see. Amilcar, how was the customer's experience? Hello, teacher. <laughs> uh, the customer's experience um, is dissatisfied. Dissatisfied, right? Dissatisfied. Yes. A very good. Thank you, Amilcar. Jose Nelson, Ruiz Moreno. Um, is the product a good product or a bad or a bad one? Good product or a bad one? Basado en la survey o en la encuesta que, que acabamos de ver, is a good product or a bad product? No, I can hear you, Nelson. No le escucho. Turn on the microphone. <laughs> uh, um, the experience was poor. It was poor, right? So it was a bad product? Poor. Bad product, un mal producto, or good product? Uh, uh, this, 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 this satisfied. Uh, satisfied means que, que el cliente estaba satisfecho, right? So what do you ah, think? Satis... The product was it's... bad or was good? Well, it's... ¿Cómo, cómo es la, la pregunta de Saribel? The question is, how is the product a good sí. product or, or a bad or product? A bad, or bad, a bad product, or right? A bad. bad product, right? Yes, bad product. Producto malo. Or a bad teacher, producto malo. Very good, good job. Okay, let's see. Um, Jorge, think about possible problems the the customer had with the product. Vamos a ver, Jorge, Mabel, and Lisette. Chicos, me pueden decir Distinct, pensar acerca de los posibles problemas que el cliente pudo tener con el producto. Let's try to imagine or suppose. Mabel, Jorge, Lizette, what do you think? ¿Qué creen que pudo haber pasado? He said that it has a very low quality. He won't continue using the product. He said that it's a poor product. It's pobre, all right? Poor. And he's so dissatisfied. So what do you think? What are those possible problems? Possible think, problems the customer had with the product? I think uh, the okay, customer think, um, the product not durable. It's not durable, very good. Okay, what about you, Mabel? I think it's uh, not, not functional because- it's not functional. Can, can uh, need something uh, to some activities and it can fun function in, in this way. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't function, right? Because it's poor, very good, it's poor. Lisette, what do you think? What are possible problems the customer have with the product? Mm, the quality of the product is, is so bad. The quality of the product is bad. Maybe it didn't work, right? 
Maybe it didn't work. We don't know what product it is, but maybe it didn't work. Quizás no le funcionó. Very good, guys. Good job. Okay, good job. All right, let me stop sharing. One moment. Let me stop sharing and let me go back to the presentation, guys. Okay, guys. So after discussing about the sorbet that we have, okay. Eh, recuérdense, estábamos suponiendo, right? Estábamos suponiendo que pudo haber pasado. So, traigan this idea. And today, guys, we will talk about mate and might. Okay? Estos son verbos eh, modales. Modal verse. Okay? Los verbos modales, guys, eh, la mayoría no son como los otros verbos, como les explicaba antes, porque no se dividen con el, ver con el party code to. Eh, por ejemplo, acá, miren, dicen, I may go. No digo, I may to go, digo, I may go. Me, might rain. No digo, might to rain, digo, my rain. Okay? So, guys, here, the may, let's repeat after me, may. 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 Might. 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 May. Might. May. 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 Might. 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 There we good. Okay, so guys, um, both verbs are used for possibility. Los dos lo ocupamos por possibility y esto, esta es la principal función de ellos, que lo ocupamos para posibilidades. Eh, esto es como que puede, ¿ok? Puede pasar esto o no puede pasar lo otro, ¿ok? Pero usted me puede decir teacher, pero entonces utilizo el can, porque el can es para para poder mm, pero cuando hablamos de possibility ocupamos el may y el might vamos a ver la diferencia um, I haven't decided I haven't decided esta estructura no la hemos visto pero es el present perfect que es yo no he decidido yo no he decidido aún I haven't decided where to go on holiday todavía no he decidido dónde ir en las vacaciones I may go to Ireland. Yo podría ir a Ireland. Ok. Irlanda. I may go to Ireland. Ok. So, perhaps significa maybe. Quizás. Perhaps. Ok. Quizás. Perhaps I will go there. Quizás voy a ir. Ok. Quizás. No estoy segura. All right? That's why it's a possibility. Possibility. All right? Possibility. We have an example with may. Let's have an example with might. Take an umbrella with you. It might rain later. Okay? Take an umbrella with you. It might rain later. Toma una sombría contigo. Puede que llueva después. O podría llover después. So maybe... Quizás it will rain. No estamos seguros. Es una possibility, ¿ok? Yes. No es como antes que estábamos utilizando el going. ¿Se acuerda del going? El present continuous como future que decía it is going to rain. O el going to. It is going to. It is going to. It is going to rain, ¿verdad? No utilizamos esos que eran un poco más seguros que iba a pasar. Esto puede que pase, poco probable que pase, ¿ok? Porque es una posibilidad súper baja. Ya vamos a ver, les voy a enseñar una regla. Bueno, no es una regla, es como una barra de, de porcentaje donde ustedes van a ver la, la posibilidad de cada verbo. Y les voy a mandar al WhatsApp esto, ¿ok? So, that's the difference. Uh, si usted me pregunta, ok, teacher, pero both of them are po for possibility. Los dos veo que son para posibilidades. So, what is the difference? Ok, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Ya la vamos a ver. Aunque, se lo voy a decir ya. El may, guys, es más probable que el might que suceda. ¿Sí? Este quizás tiene un, ¿qué? 40% of probability. 40%, 40% of probability que pueda pasar y este might tiene como un 30% de posibilidad, 30%, 30%, ¿ok? 
30. Ok, so, este es más posible que este. Va por niveles, ok. So, si yo estoy un poquito más segura que va a llover, un poquito, aunque no mucho, yo puedo decir I may. Y el might es que de verdad, que no sé, solo lo digo tal vez para decir lo que hay posibilidades, all right? Sí, así que may es más probable que el might. Esa es la diferencia con el uso de posibilidades, all right? May, might. So, the second one, guys, el may nosotros lo utilizamos también, se parece al can. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer les estaba diciendo, guys, hay otro moral que es el may, les dije yo. Y dijimos, can I help, uh, how can I help you? ¿Se acuerdan de esa, de esa pregunta que hicimos ayer? How can I help you? ¿Cómo lo puedo ayudar? So, alguien, alguno de ustedes dijo, oh, pero hay otra opción de decirlo. Sí, le dije, es how may I help you. Ok, how may I help you? Le dije, how may I help you? Es un poquito más polite que decir, how can I help you? All right. So, acá está la diferencia, que para permissions, cuando usted quiere pedir permissions o cuando quiere preguntar algo, para request, el may es más polite que el can. Ok. May I sit, may I sit next to you? Ok. May I sit next to you? ¿Me podría sentar a la par suya? ¿Sí? Es tan diferente que yo digo, ¿me puedo sentar a la par suya? Can I sit next to you? ¿Ok? Es un poco menos polar, es un poco menos formal. ¿Ok? Poco amable. Es mejor decir, may I sit next to you? Repeat after me. May I sit next to you? May I turn off the camera, teacher? May I go to the bathroom, teacher? May I go to the bathroom, teacher? Permissions, very good. May, right? Um, may I go out with my friends, mom? May I go out with my friends, mom? For respect, you can say may, pero con familia lo ocupamos a veces el can. Puede decir usted también can. Can I go out with my friends, ma'am? Can I go out with my friends, ma'am? Es la, la, la misma pregunta. Lo único, lo diferente es que el may es más polite que el can. Ok, so el may ustedes ocupen lo más, el may y el could son formales, lo pueden ocupar en su trabajo, ok, pero no son tan tan formales como el would you mind to, ¿se acuerda? Would you mind to, would you like to, esos son más formales todavía, pero es muy aceptable que usted ocupe y muy usado que usted ocupe el may. Así que el may es muy importante, ok, may es súper importante para permissions, para pedir permisos o para pedir como request eh, peticiones. Y me voy a saltar hasta la última, que es una petición. May I have some water, please? En vez de decir, can I have some water? ¿Puedo tomar agua? Usted lo dice más polite. May I have some water, please? ¿Sí? Petición o permi permission es casi similar. Esto al contrario del can. Yo sé que no lo estamos comparando con el can, pero al contrario del can, el may es más polite. ¿Ok? Y si lo comparamos con el might, guys, el might ya se ut utilizaría, sorry, con suggestions. ¿Se acuerdan? Sugerencias. Sugerencias. ¿Cuál es el verbo de sugerencia que vimos anteriormente? ¿De acuerdo? Un verbo. Un morador que vimos de suggestion. Vamos a ver si se recuerda. Could and should. Ajá. Could and should. Vaya, miren, ahí tenemos más verbos. Más verbos que a veces se ocupan para la misma intención, con el mismo uso, pero a veces algunos son más formales que otros. Ahora bien, dice ese de suggestion. We're going to a concert. You might like to come with us. Usted podría querer venir con nosotros. Ok. You might like to come with us. Ok. 
aquí, guys, yo creo que se utiliza más en suggestions se ocupa más quizás el could y el should antes que el might. Sí, es más usado los otros dos. Pero FYI, for your information, here you have it, ¿ok? And, um, let's see, el may también lo ocupamos, yéndonos para el may, lo ocupamos también cuando queremos eh, desear, oh, sorry, no desear, sí, desearle algo a alguien. May all your wishes come true. Que todos sus deseos se hagan realidad. May all your wishes come true. Ok, también se puede decir, may God bless you. Ok, que Dios la bendiga. May God bless you. May all your wishes come true. Es como una frase que se dice. Ok, pero the most important here, guys, lo más importante de esto es el possibility, permission, and request. Lo más usado, ok. Y en el might, eso todavía no lo voy a explicar, no lo quiero confundir, pero se utiliza como un condicional también. Pero luego lo vamos a ver ese topic, don't worry. Ahorita lo más importante y como to summarize, para hacer un summary de lo que hicimos, una conclusión. Ok, what's the difference entre may and my teacher? Ok, the difference is that um, may es más probable que pase algo que might. Ok, that's one of the difference, the main difference here, ok. Eh, y el might se utiliza bastante para suggestion, ok, para suggestion, para sugerencias también, para posibilidades que casi no pasan. Y el may, hay algo muy importante comparando con los demás, el may es más polite que el can, ok. So, do you have questions about this or no questions? No questions. Les tengo algo más acá. No voy a explicar eso. Les voy a explicar esto. Do you see the screen, guys? Eh, lo que les estaba mencionando. La difference between my and my mate and might. Miren, aquí está la, el, el porcentaje de qué tan certe, qué, te, qué, ta, qué tanta ser, eh, oh my god, qué tan ser ¿Qué tanta certeza, sorry, qué tanta certeza hay en un modal y en el otro? La certeza está hasta acá, al, at the top, ok, hasta arriba. Y no chance means que no hay muchas posibilidades de algo. Entonces, acá dice, might expresses possibility, ok. Ma, uh, may expresses possibility or permission, lo que estábamos diciendo. Pero si nosotros nos podemos a comparar los dos, guys, el may está más arriba en la barrita. Miren, acá está más arribita en la barrita porque quiere decir que el ma may es más probable que pase. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, y may, y may rain, quiere decir que hay más posibilidades. Pero si digo, y may rain, menos posibilidades porque está más abajo. Is that understandable, guys? Yes? No, yes, maybe teacher or chat or chat a teacher. No? Clear. Clear? Okay. Now, les quiero enseñar otra imagen uniendo casi, casi la mayoría de los morals que hemos visto. Yo creo que los únicos morals que no hemos visto acá son el ara. Este casi no es usado, pero es considerado. El would, ¿ya vimos el would? Vimos el would you mind to and would you like to, right? So, este no lo hemos visto. El must tampoco lo hemos visto, right? El will tampoco. So, eh, todos esos hemos visto ya. El should, el can, el could, el may y el might, ¿ok? So, miren acá la barrita. Almost certain significa que hay mucha certeza que pase algo. En very uncertain es que no hay mucha certeza que pase o no hay mucha posibilidad que pase algo. What is the less certain? ¿Cuál es el que menos, el, el, que, el que menos es posible que pase? 
guys? Might. Ok, might está hasta abajo. Look, so si ustedes ocupan might, en posibilidad quiere decir que no va a pasar, guys. Es 30% of probability que pase. El may ya va más arriba. Look, el may va más arriba. Quizás un 40%. El could, el could está más arriba. Miren, el could de posibilidad. So, yo puedo decir, in my rain, 30% de probabilidad que va a llover. May rain, 40% de probability que pueda llover. El could rain, puede que haya un como 50%. El can, puede haber como un 60%. And should, obviamente, es como de, 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 de ver, ¿verdad? You should, debería de, de, de llover. Eso es más, probi más probable. Y estos que todavía no los, he vi no los hemos visto, no los vamos a tocar, pero acá tienen como el porcentaje de probabilidad. ¿Ok? So, I will send to you those pictures as well, but do you have questions about these guys? ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? ¿Viendo la comparativa con los demás? ¿No? ¿No? Just the pronunciation teacher is might. Es might. 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 Might, uh -huh. might, and this one is may, may, might, okay, mate, might, mate, okay, might and mate. Let's repeat after me, guys. Might, 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 may, may, may. could. 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 Should. Okay, guys. Let me go through the attendance list, guys. Let me go through the attendance list. And mientras voy a la attendance list, Mientras estoy pasando la lista, traten de leer esto, que es la estructura de may y el may, ¿ok? La estructura de cómo se utiliza el may y el may. Léalo mientras paso la lista. Thank you, guys. Lean la estructura, please. Ok, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Ok. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Cristian. Cristian José López Pérez. Uy, Cristian, es sleeping. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Estela Mabel Ro Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Uh, Ismael? He's not here, right? Jaime Antonio Velar Cortez. Present teacher. Jessica El Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Jenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Uh, Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Uh, Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Thank you. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. 
Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Elisa del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Okay. Present. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Elisa. Okay, guys. So, uh, we have the structure about May and Mai. Aquí está la estructura. Super easy, guys. Igual que los demás, can and good. Lo único que tenemos que hacer es agregarle el not. Y de hecho, la diferencia entre los demás es que can, por ejemplo, nosotros podemos como contractarlo, right? Podemos decir can't. Podemos decir can't. Uy, sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I cannot do it. I thought it was going to be easy for me, but it's not easy. So, podemos utilizar can't, ok, en contractado, can't, el, pas, el, sorry, el negative, ok, y para couldn't va contractado también. So, the difference between those two and may and, night, may and, and my, guys, aquí no, no se puede contractar en, en lo que es negative, ok. So, acá no se puede contractar. Lo que tenemos que hacer es agregarle el not en negative. Ok, so, el affirmative here will be subject, may, ok, and then the verb, go. Acuérdense que como es moral verb, no va a llevar, guys, el to de, el, de por medio, ok. Mientras que los otros verbos normales sí lo llevan. Uh, so, after the verb, I go to the complement, to the party. Okay? And in May, sorry, uh, we have another example. They made watch a field tonight. Okay? Este con respecto al May. Ahora con el might, I might go to the party. Lo mismo, solamente le, le, le cambia el may por el might. Okay? I might go to the party. I may go to the party. What is the difference? Eh, teacher, the difference is la posibilidad. Yo estoy más, tengo más certeza que voy a ir con el may que con el might. Okay? So, ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer negative? Como les dije, después del might o después del may, le vamos a agregar el not. I may not go to the party. I might not go to the party. Okay. So, básicamente, si usted dice, I might not go to the party, hay más probabilidad que usted no vaya. <ríe> que yo diga, I may not go to the party. ¿Ok? Porque el might es menos probabilidad. ¿Sí? Menos probabilidad, guys. I might not go to the party. ¿Ok? Uh, y el interrogative, guys, es lo mismo como decir, can I go to the bathroom? May I go to the toilet? ¿Ok? Al principio ponemos el moral verb que funciona como auxiliar. May or might I go to the toilet? May I go to the toilet? Está bien esa pregunta, guys. May I go to the toilet? Yes or no? ¿Puedo decir, no, may I go to the toilet? No. All toilet right. is not for a public. El might, sí. acuérdense, guys, aquí no veo que diga permission, right? So no puedo ocupar el might. Solo ocupo el may o el can. So, can I go to the toilet? All right. El might es solamente para posibilidades en suggestion. Ok. So, acá... Digo, can I go to the toilet or may I go to the toilet? May I open the door or can I open the door? ¿Ok? Se utiliza para permissions, como dice acá. El may y el my también se puede hablar de futuro como posibilidad. And you are not sure about it. Ya hablamos de las posibilidades, que uno es más seguro que pase y el otro no. Este es how many, how many How many percent, guys? May? How many? Don't you remember? 40. 40% of probability, okay? 
Uh, the my one is like a 30%, okay? 30%, not too much, okay? 30% and 40%, yes? Questions about these guys? Questions? No? Are you okay with that? Questions about the structures? Okay, so let me get a second. One moment. Okay, guys, this is what we already discussed. Ya discutimos acerca de esto. Let me just erase that. Because I will share the, the presentation with you later on, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, so now it's time to practice. Let's go to the page 24, okay? Page 24. Page 24, and this is the page 24. Acá tenemos más ejemplos entre el my y el may. Let's read them all, okay? Let's read them all. Let's see. Vamos a hacerlo con el popcorn en este diálogo. Vamos a ir leyendo. Sabrina, yo a store, y luego usted choose another person. You say popcorn, Antonio, and Antonio will continue. Popcorn, Ileana, and Ileana will continue with the next one, okay? Okay, Sabrina, you start with the number one. Example number one. Uh, in, in May, really? May. You start in May, May. yes. May, uh, I may ask for a refund. For a refund? Refund? refund. Okay. Refund. Popcorn? Popcorn, Zulma. Zulma. Jarixa, go for it, Jarixa. You may, but at a different store. You may buy at a different store. Very good. Popcorn. Hi, Mentoni. Jaime Antonio. Okay, Jaime, go for it. They may not provide a good service. They may not provide a good service. Okay, very good. Jaime, choose another person. Uh, popcorn Nelson. Nelson, go for it, Nelson. It might not raise your expectation. It might not reach, reach. Reach. In manner you reach Joe's expectations. Expectations. Very good. Nelson, choose another person. Uh, Susana. Okay. Oh my God. Uh -huh. A Susana dijo. Uh huh. No, bueno. I'm a still lost. Carla, Susana? <laughs> no, Lucia, might... Susana, Lucia, Susana. Sorry, go. Uh, she might? She might want a refund on those units. She might want a refund on those units. Very good. She's another person. Uh, Jorge. Jorge, go for it. They might complain might? about service. They might complain about services. Very good. They might complain about the service. Choose another person, please. Mm, Lisbeth, or Lisbeth, with me. Okay, Lisbeth. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. We might, we might we ask might. to talk with the supervisor. We might ask to talk. Mm -hmm. Very good. Who's the next person? Another person? Uh huh. Julio Cesar. Julio, go for it, Julio. He might not buy here again. He might not buy here again. Okay, very good, guys. Good job. Questions about these guys? No questions? No? Okay, let's see. 
Guys, let's repeat after me. Okay, let's repeat after me. May. 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 Refund. 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 Provide. 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 Reach. 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 Expectations. Expectations. Might. 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 Units. Units. Complaint. Complaint. Um, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. So, let me go back. And create sentences using the words provider and may and my write a complement when needed. Okay, guys. Ahorita vamos a tratar de formar oraciones con estas, okay? Con estas palabras que ya tenemos acá. Tratemos de formar oraciones con may and my. Por ejemplo, for him, for him. <laughs> for example, oh my God. He might not be satisfied. He might not be satisfied. Si ustedes quieren, agreguenle más. Pueden decir, he might not be satisfied with your customer service. Or he might not be satisfied with the product, etc. Okay? And you can continue with may también o puede decir una con might. Okay? Let's work on this right now, guys. Hagan oraciones con might y may. Le voy a pasar una captura de esto. Let's go ahead and do it individually, guys. Vamos a hacerlo individuales. Y cuando termine, guys, me manda la captura de pantalla WhatsApp que lo hizo. Please, 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 please. So, questions about me and my guys? Preguntas? Questions? No questions? Okay, ahí se los pasé al WhatsApp. Okay, guys, let's see. Here we are. Let's see. We have six. Okay, let's have right now, guys, 10 minutes to finish. Okay, 10 minutes to finish this exercise. 10 minutos para finalizar este ejercicio y me deja saber si tiene preguntas, please. We almost done, guys. Half minutes and we go out. We go to sleep, we go to rest. You go and do something else that you need. Just 30 minutes, okay? So we can do it, we can do it, guys. And now we are in the middle of the week, Wednesday, so you can do it.
Thank you, Mr. Jaime. He may not be satisfied with the service. Very good. The warranty may be not may be longer for two years. The warranty may be longer longer than sería el dan ahí la preposición dan t h a n dan than two years. The service might not be excellent in the restaurant. Very good. Uh, may you recommend for a new job? Uh huh. The waiter may be in a hurry with the order. Mm -hmm. Amanda may not use the security belt. Good job. Wonderful. Then. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sabrina, good job. He may not be satisfied. The warranty may be longer. Uh-huh, maybe longer. The service might not be excellent. You might recommend someone for this job. All right. The waiter might be in a hurry. Amanda may not use this t-shirt. May not wear, sería ahí. So let's see. May not wear this es t-shirt. Es cierto, el wear es para ropa, ¿verdad? Y el use yeah. es para... <laughs> Good job, guys. So proud of you. Let me know whenever you finish and send it here, guys, please. Send it to the WhatsApp group. Let's have three more minutes, guys. Three more minutes. Let's see, I got another one. This is from Walter. Wow, guys, I really like your handwriting. Me gusta mucho su escritura. He may not be satisfied with the car. Uy, solamente que los puntos yo no los veo al final de las oraciones. Ah, no. sorry. Pensé que eran los demás también. <laughs> he may not be satisfied with the car. The warranty might be longer. The service may be excellent. My, my, may not be excellent. You might recommend. Sería con, sin la ED. You might recommend the restaurant. Recommend. You might recommend that restaurant. The waiter may be in a hurry. In a hurry. In a hurry. In a. In a hurry. And let's see. Uh, Amanda might not use the new shoes. Very good. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see. Azucena. He may not be satisfied. Very good. Um, the warranty might be longer. Very good. Uh, the service, la number three falta, ¿verdad? The service may not be excellent, puede ser. Or might be not excellent. The service, oh, aquí está, sorry. Number four, you might recommend, you might recommend um, the restaurant. The weather may be in a hurry. Okay, very good. Then we have a who's junior yard. Quien es, guys? I don't know. I don't know. But okay, let me read it. Uh, it says, he may not be satisfied. The warranty might be longer for two years. May be longer than two years. Than two years. Uh, the service may be not excellent. May not may may not be excellent. Sorry, you may recommend some some. You may recommend some topics. Digamos some topics. Um, the water might be in a hurry. Waiter, <laughs> the Amanda may not use uh shoes very expensive. Sería where I may not use. The warranty option, digamos. Creo que vi esto antes. Uh, pero no lo corregí, sorry. Ajá, uh -huh, let's see. ¿Dónde lo vi? May not use acá. 
may not wear. Sería. Para zapatos y ropa utilizamos el wear, guys. Let's see. Este es another one. Uh, he might not be satisfied with the homework. Clarissa think that the warranty may be longer. Good job. May the security not be excellent? Mm -hmm. mm, el may acá. Sí. May you recommend a good movie? Uh -huh. The waiter may be in a hurry with the food. Amanda may not use the cell phone. Very good. He may not be satisfied. The warranty might be longer at the at the battery rate. The warranty might be no longer at the buy. Uy, eso no lo entiendo, sorry. The service might not be excellent. You may recommend Stella for the job. The waiter may be in a hurry to clear the room. Very good. To clean the room, Amanda may not use the, new, the car tomorrow. Very good. Carla, uh, he might not be satisfied with the product. Okay, the warranty might be longer. Warranty might be longer for this product. The service may not be excellent. You might recommend the product. The weather may be in hurry. Amanda may not use the product. Vamos a poner aquí. The warranty might be longer for that product. And very good. The warranty might be longer than two years. Good job. Thank you. Dance. Very good, guys. You did an amazing job, okay? Very good job. I got one here. Is he may not be satisfied? May not be. Okay, solamente the spelling, Nelson, but other than that, it's okay. So guys, do you have questions about this? No? Questions? No questions? No guys? No questions? Not the chair for me. Okay guys, now the following 45 minutes, lo vamos a dedicar para, para nosotros the warranty might be longer. Very good, Nelson. Para nosotros, let's create a conversation, okay? Vamos a create un converse, a conversation really quick, okay? Let's create a, a conversation where you are satisfied with the product and say what you might and might do about it. Usted se va a poner a imaginar, guys, que usted compró algo y usted está satisfecho. O puede decir que está insatisfecho. Entonces usted le está platicando a un amigo, ok, o de hecho puede llamar al lugar donde lo compró y le puede decir que está desatisfied o que está satisfecho y las cosas que usted podría o no podría hacer. Might or may do, ok, utilizando el might y el may, por ejemplo usted le puede decir. Um, hello, um, yes I'm calling because I'm so satisfied with your service. Really? Yes. Um, that's really awesome to, to hear about. Yes, I know. I might, I may recommend you guys. I might, re, I may recommend uh, your company because this is re really good. And I may continue uh, purchasing those products in the future. Really, that will be great for us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, pueden hacer una conversación así. O si no, pueden hacer una conversación como hablando con un amigo, contándole la historia, sorry, la experiencia que usted tuvo eh, comprando algo y diciéndole las cosas que, que podrían hacer y las cosas que no podrían hacer. ¿Ok? Pueden hacer eso, les voy a mandar eso al WhatsApp y vamos a hacerlo en los mismos grupos que estábamos haciendo. Es una conversación para que la practiquen en ese momento sin escribir, guys, sino que ustedes practice, ¿ok? Recuérdense que este es el momento que ustedes pueden practicar, guys. Probablemente durante el día no pueden practicar, así que take advantage of this time. Tomen ventaja de practicar con su compañero, ¿ok? Así que háganlo de manera espontánea con su compañero ahorita. 
traten de improvisar, cometan errores, ok, eh, corríjanse, sí, pero let's practice, let's learn, ok. Esta es la última actividad que vamos a hacer. And then we go to sleep, ok. We almost done here. So, vamos a abrir los breakout rooms. Let's click on join, guys. Denle click on join. Solamente me hace falta una pareja que creo que está solita. Marta, Lidia, Luis, Ernesto, Carla y Jonathan. ¿Alguien de ustedes está listo ya como para practicar? ¿O siguen de listener? Jonathan. Who? Sorry. Marta. Oh, Marta. Thank you, Marta. I needed you. Ok. Mm -hmm. Then. Let me see. Because Marcos was alone. Okay. I got one as well. Jonathan, usted puede practicar o Carla. Jonathan, Carla o Luis, todavía siendo the listener. No? Luis? Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, okay. Todavía sea the listener, right? Jonathan se me fue. Yes. Okay, give me a second. Oh, Sabrina, you are ready, right? Okay, sorry, Sabrina. Okay. ¿Cómo se Acepto me Acepto la invitación, ahí? teacher. Yes, please. Click on join, guys. Iliana, Carolina, Calderón, click on join, please. Oh, Iliana, ¿ya se puede unir? Sí, teacher, sí. Okay, uh, Estefanía, click on join. En Mabel, no le he asignado a usted. Ok, let me see. No, teacher. Let me assign to you to the room number two. Ok, ya la moví. Ahora, oh, sorry, a... sorry, sorry, sorry. La moví mal. Ahorita sí, dele clic ahorita en join. Sorry. Quiero ver. Ahorita sí, ahorita sea la dos, room number two. Jaime is alone. Iliana, click on join, please. Estefanía está ahí, Estefanía. Teacher, me voy a unir, voy a... Okay. Ok, Ángela Estefanía, are you there? Hello, Ángela Estefanía. Mabel, no se unió. La voy a enviar de nuevo. Join, but I don't know what happened. Ok, la voy a unir una vez y después la voy a volver a unir a la segunda vez de la join. Ok, ahorita, déjeme ver, ahorita de la join, otra vez. Iliana, ahorita dele join. <coughs> ok, a la nueve. Everything was silent. Everything was silent when I didn't stay in my in my work <laughs> and when I was all say, yeah, it's every night again. It came. Okay. Hey. City um Mark. May en May. Por ejemplo, si fue y eh, tú hizo una compra, si estaba satisfecho o le gustó, pero usando el el mate. El May, ok. Y May. Uh -huh. May, right, right. 
Por ejemplo. Ay, ay. Ay. Yo compré. Yo compré. Y. Me dijeron que se trataba de algo. Ay, 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 Ventaja, no sé cómo se dice. Advantage. Por ejemplo, en... Advantage. Advantage. Advantages. Uh -huh. Advantages. Por ejemplo, uh, the price is uh, $20. En Kinder Amazon, um, you buy um, $8. Oh, uh, is more... Price, uh, Cheap, ¿Cómo se dice? Es barato, cheap, cheap. No sé. It's cheaper, it's cheaper, ajá. It's cheaper. cheaper. Uh -huh. Ok, it's cheaper. And you. Um, voy a preguntar algo. Um, Think about pos uh, possible problems when do you use the uh, Amazon? Um, I um, I call say a uh, one problem and for men or for women is a very good product. Do you back to the store for another product? Then you start the might. Uh -huh, sería Marcos, I can you give you one more? Year of warranty. Te estoy diciendo que te puedo dar un año más de garantía. Mm -hmm. ajá, ajá, pero no se podría como, como poner I, I, I made. I, ajá, I made. Ah, sí. Sí, verdad, ajá. Uh, I might, I might. Yes, you can. Teacher, hello, teacher. Entonces, puede hacer, we call me, go to the, the cinema. Hello, Marco, cinema. sorry. Do you have any question? Yes, teacher. Um, Tell me. Casi no le escuchamos, Marco. Sí, sí, eso le decía, pero creo que es por, por el teléfono. Quizás mm. sí, el teléfono está fallando del micrófono. Mm. Ok, Marcos. Dígame, ¿do you have a question? I, I, I don't know understand this moment. Vamos a hacer una, un role play, una conversación utilizando el may y el might. Uh -huh. Excuse me? For example. 
una conversación si ustedes están satisfechos con algún producto que compraron, digamos. Pueden hacer una conversación de eso y luego pueden decir si ustedes podrían hacer algo. You may recommend the company or you might tell your friends about your product. I might not go, not come back to the company anymore, etc. Utilizando el may y el might. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. You're welcome, guys. Entonces, Marco, sería de esa manera. Podría yo llamarle para ver el grado de satisfacción que usted tiene con, con el producto que compró. Okay. Entonces. Teacher. Hello. How, how do you say in English ancho de banda? From the Wi-Fi. Ancho de banda? Band width. Band what? Ancho de banda, pero para su internet? Yes. Broadband. Mm. Broadband. Broadband. Air O. B broadband B R O A D R O B R O A D B A N D Ahorita se lo mando aquí en el chat broadband Robin. Hello guys, yeah. thank you for joining back. I'm sorry, but it, the time is over. That's what I, I join you to the main room. Guys, um, so thank you very much for practicing. You did an amazing job as always, okay? So guys, let me go through the attendance list. Voy a pasar la última lista. Say present. And uh, guys, a las 10, you can log out. Se puede salir. Guys, you can disconnect and it's okay, okay? And we see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, see Teacher, you tomorrow. Just one thing. Yo yes. creo que estábamos yes. practicando con Jonathan y se le fue. Ah, creo que ahí se está conectando, pero creo que se le había ido el internet, le falló. Ah, okay. Entonces, Teacher, I'm so sorry because my phone is locked down. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Thank you. Don't worry. Sorry, I'm safe. Okay, it's fine. So guys, since time is over, voy a pasar rapidito la lista. Jonathan, usted se va a quedar conmigo, right? Sí. Okay. Yes. okay. Sorry, great. Sabrina. Solo se lo quería asociar. Ok, so guys, como ya son las 10, una vez que los menciones, se puede desconectar y espero que tenga una excelente noche. Descanse mucho, ok? Nos vemos mañana, guys. Take care. Uh, let's see. Uh, Linda Magali García Montoya. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Luis Ernesto sure. Gómez García. Uh, good night. See you good tomorrow. night. Present bye teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present. Walter Alexander Lemus Medina. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present, good night. 
Good night, Lizette del Carmen Hernández, Miss Meet. Carla Elizabeth Present. Escobar. Sorry. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquiven. Present. Constanza Osmara Cáceres Trinidad. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Good night. Yarixa, good night. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher, have a good night. Have a good night, take care. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Cristian, hello Cristian. I don't know where Cristian is. Okay, Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher, good night. Bye, good night. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Good night. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Bye, Jaime. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Hello. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present teacher. Bye bye. Good Take night. care. Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Bye, take care, Jose Nelson. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo, no lo había mencionado, right? Pensé Present que teacher. en el otro lo había mencionado, pero thank you, Julio. Take care, bye, bye. okay? Bye. Okay. Um, how are you today, Jonathan? Thank you for joining. And thank you for staying. Oh, no, you're welcome. Thank you for you. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited to stay here. Really? <laughs> you know English very well. And yeah. I really like your empathy with others. I mean, you transmit a lot of energy. So thank you for transmitting that uh, to others you. and to the class. <laughs> okay. So Jonathan. Oh, no, it's a good for me. Thank you. Okay, so this space is designed for you, Jonathan, because we want to know more about you. Um, if there is any topic, if there is any anything, any class that you didn't understand and you want me to arrange for, to practice more or to explain to you any topic, tell me. If you have any comment, any feedback about the class, anything that you want to add to improve the class, I'm all ears. You tell me and I listen. Or if I can do something so you can improve, continue improving your learning skills. Or if you want to get a tip, okay, or something from me, an advice, Something that you need from me, here is the time so you can tell me, Jonathan. So tell uh, me, how can I help you? Oh, uh, no, uh, <laughs> I, I think that is it, it's class is amazing because as the, um, um, I, I think you, you are always helping us and you are always, always so very happy. You, you transmit us your energy. And uh, um, I, I saw I saw Sabrina when Sabrina not <laughs> stay in the class, uh, people miss her. Yeah. Uh, and I think the same because the last the the last class um, for me it was so very um, basic. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe uh, my my thinking uh, is not necessary for all the, the people. Yeah. Um, you you are you are very very um, excellent teacher. I Thank think you. you 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 need more class for <laughs> for all the people. Yeah. Oh, for example, in my case, uh, I I would like that in the next model, can you give me the class? Really? But I think oh, it's not necessary or not, uh, or no, always is the, the same teacher. It's for, not for always. The yes, it's not always. They are like mixing the students right now. And that's the reason why sometimes you are not with the same teacher. But for example, I can tell you that Jaime 
uh, Linda, Marco, no, Marcos, no, Jaime, Linda, um, Nelson, who else? Ismael, uh, Christian as well. Those are the only one that, is, that has stayed with me since the very beginning, since the course number one. Those are the number only ones. One. From it's the a number casualty, one. Or, it's a casualty or, or? I don't know. But what they have done is that they have mixed the students. Some of the students that are that were with me in the first, second, and third course went to another model. I believe, I don't know. I'm just guessing, Jonathan. Yeah. Because, for example, Luis, uh, Sabrina, Luis, Sabrina, who else? Luis, Sabrina, Yarixa, Luis, Sabrina, Yarixa, yes. Those uh, students have been with me for the last two courses. So, two courses. Uh -huh, two courses, and, and they are still with me. So sometimes... There are some students that continue with me one course, two courses, three courses, and four courses, depending on them. So I don't know what is the methodology. I don't know it, Jonathan. But I but hope that you can good. be with me next course as well. It's going to be my pleasure, okay? No, okay. I think the same because uh, when when I am uh, in the class, I can feel so very good because we, we have the opportunity of their practice with another person we mm -hmm. know another person about uh, in this course i i i had to learn um many about the worlds about the other the other companies yeah mm -hmm. and that is for me uh very very good because uh it's not the same case about um the 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 world yeah because mm -hmm. there are so many people working uh, in some different place and we have to the opportunity that knows her, knows him. Um, I I like I like this class. I like this course, and it's a very very difficult for me because when the classes start, always I am finishes my job. Oh, I am I, I am manager in a palace store, and mm -hmm. I have to work uh, from um, eight. A um in the morning mm -hmm. until to a or nine in oh. the evening. Oh my god! Is that the reason when you are uh, uh -huh. um taking the attendance? Uh, I am You're driving. I am driving. <laughs> I am finished my job. Oh, uh, is yes. the reason that I am I, I have to say ah oh, sorry my camera <laughs> is is taken off but uh, I I try to stay. At, at the same time in in the class it's so very good i like mm -hmm. i like the class and i i want to say congratulations to you because uh you are so very good teacher thank you jonathan and congratulations as well because you're doing a great effort uh just in mind you just go out from your job at night or sometimes at eight but you're here all the time it's not yeah. an excuse for you to say, okay, I cannot do it, teacher. And at the end of the day, at the end, we don't see your absence. I mean, it is like you are here all the time. So I really like that because even though you were busy, I don't know how you do it, but all of a sudden you are there in the class <laughs> and you're participating <laughs> and you're part yeah. of the class. So congratulations yeah. for this. Keep it up, Jonathan. And I really love the way that you keep your English environment. I mean, you keep it, keep it, keep uh, speaking in English. So I really like that. That is going to be helping you a lot, Jonathan. And if you continue yeah. speaking in English or trying to speak in English, no matter what, at the yeah. end, you will see that you will start speaking very fast. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you. But I want to know, Jonathan, if there's something that you it might be difficult for you, maybe listening, uh, reading, um, maybe grammar. writing, grammar. grammar. Okay, grammar. So, what what do you think that is difficult for you about grammar? Uh, for example, um, there are sometimes that uh, you are talking about some topic, and I. I can I can't understand the topic about 
grammar specifically, uh, mm -hmm. specific. Because, um, for, for example, uh -huh. for example, when you are talking about the uh, in the last class, I remember that you you said just saying us that um, ah, I I, I was remember. Um, for example, when you are talking about this, these, those. Uh, ah, demonstrative, uh huh? When you uh -huh, when you are talking about demonstrative, you say that there uh, if is it is or oh no? Uh, uh, let me check. Let me remember. That is. This is those. No, 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 no. When you are we when you are um talking about is. But uh, you say are. This there are. are. This are. Oh, no, this are. are. Uh -huh. This are. I, I, I confuse because um, I think are is so only for third person uh, or plural nouns. Yeah. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. Are is just, uh, I mean, for second, for first person. And uh, is is for third person singular, right? Yeah, yeah, but uh, see, I'm sorry, I, I still saw her. Maybe so what happens that. is the pronunciation, Jonathan, of this and this. Maybe the pronunciation. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. This and this is a this. difference. There is a difference. Uh -huh. And to be honest with you, Jonathan, the other person that is speaking needs to know how to pronounce that. Because if the person doesn't know, you won't understand. However, if I say, let's see, this, uh, these apples are... Are... Uh -huh. These apples, these apples are green. Let's see. These apples are green. Teacher, but the pronunciation is these. Okay. But at the end, you understood that it was it was plural because I said apples and because I say are. So at the end, this can, can help you in case that the speaker, the person that is speaking, doesn't know how to pronounce it. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. obviously, we're not perfect and we might be talking with another person that is learning as well as us, right? And maybe yeah, that person yeah, doesn't mean. have the same pronunciation. So what you need to do there is try to go with the context. It's el contexto, right? The, the, of yeah. the words. This is one yeah, thing. But yes, the difference there is the pronunciation saying these apples are green. And in plural, sorry, in singular will be this apple. This apple is green. Mm -hmm. But if you're saying apples, these apples, people know that you are saying uh, that it, these. you have uh, uh, the two, three or four apples, yeah? Uh -huh, it's, a, it's a difference exactly. when you are when you are talking about plurals, for example, apples, or mm -hmm. if, if you are saying this apple, you cannot say are. Uh -huh, exactly. I cannot say are. Okay. I mean, it, it was the confuse for me. Uh, it's only the it's only the confuse that I have. So. Mm, I think it's not um, other topic difficult for me. So that's all I think. Jonathan, if you have any other doubt, comment, or any other topic, if you want one day to practice with someone, I'm, I'm actually over there for, for, I mean, speaking with you, if you want to talk, if you want to practice English, send me an audio in whatsapp hi teacher how are you today and this is oh, for learning prep yes you can send it mire yo se lo digo a todos mis participantes yo me yo no es que tenga todo el tiempo del mundo pero i can try because i understand yeah. jonathan sometimes we don't know uh i mean we don't have someone else to yeah. speak with or to practice with so I have made this type of practices with another participant and they continue send me, sending me uh, audios. You can do it as well. So if you want to do that, let's do it. If you want to, 
uh, have more practices or if you don't understand a topic, tell me, teacher, I didn't understand that, please. Can you please send me a video more practice or explaining to me in an audio or you can explain it? Of course, I can do it, Jonathan, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you because uh, it's very important for me or for all the all the, 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 the classmates because uh, this course is free. And, exactly. and 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 um not all the people uh think about uh the same that you are talking me or, or saying me uh because people uh sometimes so only in the take class, the class right? <laughs> one hour or, or in, for example you that you are uh my teacher uh -huh. you you have to give me only two hours but you are it. talking about i want uh, if i want uh, send on a message or a video and an audio i can i can eat there Entonces, eh, eso es importante yeah. quizás eso, eso es bastante importante porque le da yeah. como a uno la, la, la facilidad ¿verdad? para poder decir ah ok bueno. y la confianza sí jonathan mire la verdad es que a mí me gusta lo que hago i really love it eh, ah, y de sí. verdad es que cuando tengo un grupo a mí me gusta que aprenda mucho y darle lo mejor que pueda. So, y usted tiene razón, hay muchas eh, personas que pueden decir, ok, a mí me pagan por dos horas, yo le voy Exacto. a dar dos horas, salud, ok. No, después de clase no me hable, salud, si le, le, lo voy a silenciar. Es cierto, Exacto. puede que tenga razón, pero mire, yo pienso de que pues al final eh, ustedes están en nuestras manos por el momento en el proceso de aprendizaje y por qué uno no va a, a, a decir lo okay, que estoy de sus órdenes en este momento ok, como sea porque al final yo siempre les digo y se los digo en el, en el greeting en la introduction que les digo yo no solamente soy su facilitadora sino que también puedo estar ahí guys, verdad, como otra persona igual que ustedes yo aprendo de ustedes, ustedes aprenden de mí también así que pues con todo gusto, Jonathan. Y de verdad, okay. ha sido un placer conocerlo y hablar un poco más con usted. Quisiera saber okay. si hay algo más que pueda hacer o any other questions so far, Jonathan. Por el momento, no. That's all, teacher. Ok. Thank you a lot. And keep it up, ok? Keep it up. Okay. No se detenga, Jonathan, because <laughs> you thank have you. the capacity of doing many things, ok? De verdad, okay, tiene la capacidad you. de seguir, de seguir progresando y yo sé que va a llegar lejos. Así que, let's do it. All right? Gracias. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Take care, Jonathan. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night for you. Hot. Thank you.